Hi Pokemon fans, today Zippy and I are here to bring you a rather interesting discussion. To date, only six Pokemon films have seen a theatrical release in the United States. Why is this? And will it ever happen again? Let's take a look. In 1999, Pokemon the first movie rushed to American theaters. It was at the peak of the Pokemon hype and the film was released in over 3,000 theaters. In its opening weekend, it set a record for the highest grossing opening weekend for an animated film. That means when it was released, no other animated film in history made as much in its opening weekend as the first movie did. The film went on to gross $85 million, and to this day, it is the highest grossing anime film of all time in the United States. One year later, Pokemon 2000 arrived. It got a slightly lower release, only being seen in 2,750 theaters. It didn't earn as much as the first one, but still managed to rake in $43 million. That's just over half of the first film, which was a big indication to Nintendo, which oversaw the movie's distribution in the United States, that the hype wasn't as strong as it had been before. Nonetheless, in 2001, Pokemon 3 was released in almost as many theaters, 2,675. However, by the end of its run, it scraped up a meager $17 million, less than what Pokemon 2000 made in its first weekend, and less than a seventh of the first movie's overall gross. Miramax obtained the distribution rights for the next few films, and decided to release Pokemon Forever and Pokemon Heroes with limited runs. Pokemon Forever was released in just 249 screens, mostly on the east and west coast's biggest cities, and Pokemon Heroes was released in even less than that, 196. The limited releases, combined with poor advertising and marketing, resulted in both becoming box office bombs. To date, Pokemon Heroes is the lowest grossing Nintendo film ever, having earned just $746,000. After this, Miramax released the next film, Jirachi Wishmaker, directly to DVD in 2006. Beginning with Destiny Deoxys, all future Pokemon films were doomed to see a television premiere in the United States. However, there was one exception. In 2011, two versions of the same Pokemon movie were created. One version, Victini and Zekrom, saw a limited theatrical release in 388 theaters spread across the country and distributed by theatrical technology pioneer company Cinedyne. It was only over one weekend and its earnings were not made public, but it proved that Pokemon movies were not destined to forever be released straight to television. Another exception was with Zoroark Master of Illusions. In early 2011, while promoting the newly released black and white games, a mall tour was created which showcased the game and included several other activities, including a theatrical screening of the film. This isn't considered a true theatrical release, however, as the Pokemon Company simply rented out theaters as they made their tour across the United States. Overall, Zoroark Master of Illusions saw light on about 12 screens nationwide, which is nothing to brag about, but still was a nice touch. While researching this topic, I came across an interesting piece of information. IMDb's page on Lucario and the Mystery of Mew listed a limited theatrical release of the film in 2006. However, keep in mind that this film was never officially distributed. This could simply mean that a fan rented a theater for a single showing, or that the four kids executives screened the film theatrically as a final farewell to the company's association with Pokemon. Either way, Lucario and the Mystery of Mew saw at least one viewing on an American theater screen. That's just a fun tidbit I thought I'd throw out there. So why aren't there Pokemon films shown in theaters anymore? Well, first of all, let me clarify that they are shown in theaters in Japan. One Pokemon movie a year is released theatrically in Japan, and they always perform very well at the box office. But there are several reasons for this. The biggest and most important reason is that the Pokemon hype hasn't died down there like it has in the United States. The Japanese culture is still very much intertwined with Pokemon to the point where they are basically inseparable. And it appears it will stay that way for a long time. In the United States, however, the Pokemon hype only stayed around for a year or two. By 2001, many children who loved Pokemon had moved on or were not as open about their fascination with the franchise as they had been before. The TV show was not as watched as it had been, and the less the show was watched, the less interest there was in the movies. The long and short of it was, there was simply no interest in the movies, and thus there was no reason for distributors to put them in theaters. Direct-to-video and television channels was a much better option, both financially and in terms of marketing. However, interest in Pokemon has steadily grown back up over the past few years, and the fact that Victini and Zekrom did so well in theaters is an affirmation of that. Even with a limited one-weekend engagement, many theaters sold out and completely packed themselves with Pokemon fans young and old. So what does this mean for the future? Well, we know that Pokemon is accepting bids for the licensing of the next movie, Deontay and the Cocoon of Destruction. That in the case that they are aiming for a theatrical release. Why do I say this? In the past, they have had a contract with Cartoon Network to show all their films there first. Instead of renewing their contract this year, 
they have opted to license it out, which means anyone can bid on it, including distributors. We can hope for another limited distribution of a Pokemon film, and if it is as successful as Victini and Zekrom, perhaps we will see a theatrical release for future films. However limited it may be, Pokemon movies are still films meant for the silver screen, and I hope Pokemon provides that in the future. Have you seen any Pokemon films on the big screen in the United States? If you're in another country, have you seen them in your theaters? Australia regularly gets limited releases of Pokemon films, as does South Korea and other countries. I'd love to hear what Pokemon movies you've seen in theaters, and if you'd like to see them in theaters again. Please leave a comment down below. Thanks everyone for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Zippy and I do these kinds of videos all the time, so if you want to see these videos in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. Anyway, that about does it for this video. Thanks everyone for watching, and stay tuned for more.